Sari and I'm back again with another video of this series where we gonna make glowing social media icons. Isn't that cool guys? Like mostly the dark mode is trending right now and on it making glowing social media icons will definitely make your website stand out. Now I'm not gonna use any libraries or anything right just with CSS. Just with pure CSS my friends and I'm gonna teach you how to make it in a simpler way. So my friends let's get started. So guys I'm an educator in Newton school. So let's see new what Newton school is all about. So my friends Newton school is a platform which prepares you for career in tech. They have variety of courses which help professional working people and also for the people from non-tech background. Isn't that amazing guys? They train you for six months to be a full stack web developer also, they ensure that you get placed in the best companies in the country. This wasn't the best part guys. They have pay after placement facilities which ensures that you don't need to pay anything until and unless you get placed in the best companies with minimum 5 lakh CTC. Isn't that crazy guys? So one more thing. Here you can see Launchpad. Um, Launchpad is an initiative by Newton School for the students who want to learn coding from scratch. And here you can do as much as quiz you want and assignments you want to practice for the free of cost. Isn't that cool? And I want you all to go and check out their pages and try your hands on with this practice questions. So my friends, we are done with the introduction part. Now let's quickly jump into the code. Here I have my basic HTML boilerplate ready. Now here. So my friends, here I will write one div tag whose class name will be wrapper. And I will write one UL. Inside that UL, I will list all the icons. I will list all the icons inside the anchor tags. Like this. Now, let's jump to the CSS part, my friends. And here also, as usual, we will write margin as 0. Padding as 0, box sizing as border box. Okay, and now we will target our body and then we will write the height should be 100 viewport. The background should be little darker so that glowing effects looks good and back display as flex. Align items as center, justify content as center. Right? Now we will target all the allies and we will say that list style should be none and we will give it some margin. Now we will target all those anchors and we will style it. We, will, we want that, that circle around it so that is why we will style it. And to bring them in the middle, we will target their class FA and then we will use the technique to bring the icons in the middle such as the technique which we always use position absolute, left 50%, top 50%, transform, translate, minus 50% from x axis and minus 50% from y axis. And we will give it some font size to make it a little bigger. 
and to bring them in the line we will target our ul and say that display should be flex and we will change its color then And we will target the anchor tags and we will say when, whenever somebody will hover on it, the color of that particular icon should change and it should turn into white. And then we have to bring that glowy effect. To bring that glowy effect, we have to bring it from the, you know, like this, like a glowy ones, right, which we saw earlier. For that effect, first we have to target the before part and then the after part. Okay, so first we will see before part. So we want that before. It should start from zero and it should go like this. Okay, so for that reason, we'll start it like this. Here, now again, we will target all the children and give it their own color for that Facebook has its own kind of blue color like dark blue and then Twitter has one light blue shade, right? So giving them that particular color, we want to target all the children, right? Like differently. So for that reason, we will say nth child and whenever somebody will hover on it, the color should change. So that's why we have to write this thing. And we will give it for other two also. And we will change the particular color. And also we will say that whenever somebody will hover on it, it should scale a little bit. It should, you know, um, look like a bigger, like bounce and go bigger. So for that, we will give transform a scale. Look how cool it looks. Now, similarly, I have said we have to do before also, we have to use after also, right? So, now we are using the after part. So, just you have used for before. Similarly, you have to use it for after as well. how we did that n child thing like we targeted all the children differently and then we said that its background color should change children inside the allies and we targeted them differently using n child so that we can change all of its uh, background colors whenever somebody hovers on it individually do you remember that similarly similarly we have to do this with after as well but we say that whenever somebody will, uh, you know, after that, what should happen? Its background color should change. Right. And we will give that transition should also happen. Now, if you will see that we got a very cool uh, effect, right? We got a very cool effect over here. Like whenever somebody will hover on it, it looks really cool. Janvi, you told me we're gonna make some glowy effects on here. We can be able to see the effects, but we cannot see the glow effect. How to bring that glow? For that reason, we will do the same thing. Okay, but here we will not write the hover part. We will just write the after part. And then we will say. And here, if you see, we have set the background color as you know something instead of background color we will change that property name from background color to box shadow now, now you see the magical part my friends
it looks great according to me i found it really cool let me know what do you think about this and also if you have any doubt or any suggestion for the future videos please let me know in the comment section i would love to hear you all and bye bye have a great evening